the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the sisters and brothers, in today's gospel, Jesus teaches us that those who count for nothing in the world, the poor, the meek, the pure of heart, the persecuted, are the truly blessed. God chooses to be on their side, and they are most precious ones in His eyes. Do we see blessedness only in terms of richness, power, and being honored? Do we involve ourselves in the service of those who are not blessed? Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, and all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest and on earth is to people of good will. We bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, bless Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone Holy One, You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. You the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in the hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Jeremiah teaches us that blessedness lies in relying on the Lord rather than on human beings, rich and powerful they may be. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the one who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty earth. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes, 
its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields his fruits in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. The Apostle Paul reminds us that if our hopes are limited to this life and what it offers us, but we place our hope in the risen Lord who prepares for us eternal life. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Sinasabi niya, ay naku, mga kapuspalad kayong mapapalad. Yun ang sinasabi niya. Bakit? Bakit naging mapapalad yung mga kapuspalad? Kasi walang laman yung kanilang palad. Ang Diyos, uibig mak mak makatagpuan yung mga walang laman ang palad sapagkat makikipagdaupang palad. Magtatambal yung kanilang mga palad. Eh kung punong-puno, yung palad mo ng kung ano-ano, wala nang puwang sa Diyos yan. Kaya kapag kayo eh nandyan at sinabi ng Panginoong magkada upang palad tayo at magkaisa, hindi mo ibibigay yung, kap yung, 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 yung malawak mong palad sa Diyos sapagkat natatakot kong matanggal yung mga nasunggaban mong mga bagay-bagay doon sa palad mo. Sapagkat nga, nagtayo ka ng sariling kaharian mo eh. Na ayaw mong ipaubaya sa Diyos. Kaya sabihin ng Diyos, oh halika, magdaupang palad tayo. Ay, ako ha. Sapagkat ibig sabihin nun, kakalusin mo yung palad mo. Magiging handa ka sa pag-aalay yung mga nasa palad mo. Eh, hindi handa. Hindi handang pumasok sa paghahari ng Diyos sapagkat nagtayo na siya ng kanyang sariling kaharian na pinaakala niyang magtatagal habang panahon. Ay doon siya nagkamali sapagkat lahat ng tinatayo ng mga tao bandang huli ay eh magwawakas. At pag nagwakas yun, kasama siyang magwawakas doon sa kanyang sinunggaban para kang humahawak sa abo Naglulubid ka ng abo, naglulubid ka ng buhangin, at yun ang kinapitan mo. Hindi ko masasagip ng mga kinapitan mo ngayon. Masasagip ka lang kapag ka ang Diyos ang humawak sa iyo. Eh ayaw kang pahawak sa Diyos. Bakit? Natatakot ka, no? Dahil punong-puno yung mga palad mo. Kaya merong apat na sumpa. O, kayo, ng mga mayayaman. Naku, talagang matatakot ka rito. 
kayong mga mayayaman, mararanasan nyo kung paano maghirap. Kayong mga ngayon ay mariwasa at nagpapasasa. Makikita nyo kung paano maging dukha. Yung mga nagtatawanan dito, kinukutya at inuusig yung ibang mga tao, makikita nyo kung paano rin kayo maapi. May sumpa, baliktad, ano? At doon naman sa mga dukha, yung mga nagugutom, nauuhaw, walang-wala, ah, sabi ng Diyos, o oh, kayo, mapapalad kayo, madali kayong makadaupang palad. Bakit? Eh, wala kayong pinagmamalaki, eh, o. Oh. Walang laman ang mga palad nyo, kaya kapag kakinuha ko, abot na abot nyo, talagang binibigay nyo yung kamay nyo, sapagkat ang pag-asa nyo lang ay ako. ba? Diba? Kaya nga yung mga nasa laylayan, mga nasa ibaba ng lipunan, pag nagigipit, o ano na lang ang tinatawag, eh Diyos na lang, diba sasabihin Diyos ko? O ayan, kumakatok na yung mga naniningil ng mga utang. Yung mga pangangailangan hindi nila matupad. Yung mga nagmamaliit at matapobre sa kanila, umuusig, pinagtatawanan sila. Ah, hindi sila makasagot na mabuti sa mga tao niya. Kaya tumitingalaan na lang yun at sinasabi, Diyos ko. Eh, yung mga mayayaman at makapangyarihan, maraming solusyon sa problema. May kaso, umuha ka ng mga abogado. Yung mga mahuhusay, na yung tama ay binabaluktot at yung mali, tinatama. Oh, akusado ka sa ganito, madali yan. Bayaran mo. Suhulan mo. Madali ang mga solusyon. Kapag kami may pera ka at kung ikaw yung makapangyarihan, ay eh sabi ng Panginoon, ay oh, maghintay kayo. Sabi nga sa English, The wheels of God's justice turns very slowly, but grinds very refinedly. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Nung araw siguro, nung wala pa tayong mga modern gadgets, pag kayo gumag gumagawa ng arena o galapong, may gilingan kayo, no? Dalawang bato yan. Kapag gusto nyo makinis at pulido, yung tinatawag niyong galapong o arena, kailangan madiing-madiin at mabigat na mabigat ang pag-ikot niyo no? dun sa gilinga. Kaya mabagal. Pero paglabas ng arena o nung galapong, pinong-pino. Walang makakaligtas na buo-buo doon sapagkat pinong-pino. O kaya bahala alaman nyo kung bakit ganito sa aligang batas ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Nagbibigay ng pag-asa doon sa mga taong umaasa sa kanyang pagahari At sumpa doon sa mga taong dahil sa kanilang kayamanan at kapangyarihan, naghari-hari ana. At hindi kinilala ang Diyos na bilang kanilang hari. Sapagkat kung nila, kinilala nila ang Diyos bilang kanilang hari, ang tingin nila sa kanilang sarili, hindi amo. Kung ano, lingkod, katiwala. O ano ba yung tungkulin ng katiwala? Huwag mong aangkinin yung mga binigay sa iyo. Sa amo mo yan eh. Pero palalaguin mo. At pagka lumago, ibabahagi mo doon sa mga taong sinasabi ng amo mo na bibigyan mo. Hindi ikaw ang magdidisposisyon sapagkat katiwala ka lang. Eh hindi, anong nangyari? Akala nila sila amo. Dumikit sa kanilang mga palad yung mga biyaya. Kaya yung mga biyaya, sa halip na maging kapalaran, naging sumpa. O, ayan ha. 
Yan ang saligang batas ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. O oh, baka naman yung mga nandi dito na mayayaman at makapangyarihan ni Nerbiusin. Kaya meron pang isang edisyon nitong saligang batas na ito. Ano yun? Sa Ibanghelyo ni San Mateo. O oh, doon makikita mo na sinasabi ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Nilagyan niya na ng salitang in spirit. Bakit? Sabagat so, may mga tao nasa itaas, mayaman man, makapangyarihan, pero may puso. Sa mga tao nasa ibaba, tumutulong. Hindi nila inaangkin at sinusunggaban yung mga biyayang binigay sa kanila ng Panginoon. Tinanggap nilang katungkula na sila'y katiwala lang ng Diyos kaya sila may mga biyaya. Kaya may mata sila, may konsyensya at may puso na hanap-hanapin. Yung mga dukha, mga nagugutom, mga nauuhaw, mga pinag-uusig at tinutulungan sa makatwid, bumababa sila. Hindi sila nananatili sa itaas na tinutungtungan ang mga ulo ng mga nasa ibaba. Sila mismo bumababa at nakikisama. Doon sa mga taong nasa ibaba. Kaya nga sabi ni San Mateo, Poor in spirit. Kasangga kayo, kaibigan kayo ng mga dukha. Kaya may puso kayo ng mga mahihirap at mga naghihikahos. Kaya mapapabilang kayo. Bakit? Sapagkat nakita nyo naman ano, kung paano bumalaw ang paghahari ng Diyos. Ang bunutan... Hindi sa itaas, ang bunutan doon sa ibaba. Ngayon, pag kayo nakatungtong doon sa mga ulo ng nasa ibaba, pag binunot ng Diyos yung nasa ibaba, mahuhulog kayo. Bam! Sapagkat buong buhay nyo, ang ginawa nyo, tinungtungan nyo yung mga nasa ibaba. Kaya pag hinila yun, <laughs> bagsa kayo. Pero yung mga taong may puso na nakikisama at nakikiramay, nagmamalasakit doon sa mga nasa ibaba, sila mismo umaalis sa kanilang mga pwesto at nakikihanay, nakikisama, tinutulungan yung mga may hirap, mga dukha, mga nagugutom, mga nalulungkot, mga pinag-uusig, kaya sila mismo bumababa. Kaya kahit na bunutin ng Diyos sa ibaba, kasama sila. Bakit? Nasa ibaba sila eh. Kusa! Kusa silang bumaba. At nakisama. At may mga mayayaman at makapangyarihan na ganun. Na hindi dapat nerviusin. Sapagkat sila mapapabilang sa mga mapapalad sapagkat ang puso nila nandoon sa mga unang binanggit ng ating Panginoon sa saligang batas sa Ibanghelyo ni San Lucas. Kaya mapataas man kayo o mapababa man kayo, hindi sinasabing hindi kayo kasama sa paghahari ng Diyos. Depende kung anong pwesto ang pipiliin ninyo. Kayo ba'y maghahari-harian? Papalitan nyo na yung Diyos na mabubulag kayo sa kayamanan nyo at kapangyarihan at hindi nyo na inaasahang magwawakas ang inyong kayamanan at kapangyarihan kaya hindi ko kailangan ng Diyos. Ako ang dapat sambahin at puunin. O oh, ayan ha? O, oh, ingat kayo dyan. Yung kapalaran nyo nagdulot sa inyo ng sumpa. Bak bakit? Babagsak at babagsak kayo. Maghintay lang. Eh kung kayo yung mga tao, mabababang loob na alam na yung kapalaran nyo yung nakasalalay sa kagandaang loob ng Diyos. Pinili ninyo. Makiramay, makiisa sa mga taong nandun sa laylayan, bumaba na kayo. Paghatak ng Diyos ng mga taong mamamayan at kasama ng kanyang paghahari. 
kasama kayong papasok sa pagkahari ng Diyos. Walang tinatakwil ang Diyos. Mahirap ka man o mayaman, makapangyarihan o walang pwesto. Kayo ang pipili kung saan nyo gusto. Kung tatanggapin nyo ang pagkahari ng Diyos, o kayo mismo na bulag sa inyong kapangyarihan at kayamanan at pinili niyong maghari-harian at palitan ng Diyos sa kanyang pwesto. Nasa inyo ang kalayaang pumili. Let's all stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Conscious of God's blessing to us, let us raise our voices to our Heavenly Father as we pray for the need of the whole church. Full of confidence, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Listen to the prayer of the church, Lord. For the shepherds of the church, may they put their hope in the Lord who strengthens those who serve His people with integrity, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For those who aspire to hold public office in our country, may they have the wisdom, the courage, the honesty to use their gifts and resources in the service of the country, especially for the poor and the powerless, we pray. Listen to the, the prayer, prayer of, of the church, church, Lord. For those who are in the front lines against the COVID-19 pandemic, may they find hope, affection, and assistance from the local authorities and their communities, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For our beloved dead, may God's mercy be upon them, that they may reach eternal life with Him, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayer, prayer of your church, Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people who hope in your infinite mercy. May these petitions help us to see our blessedness above all material goods, careers, or honors. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
they might be friends that our sacrifice might be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of this Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and with Saint Dominic and Saint Francis and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us.
Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let, let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having faith upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Kami po ito as puso nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat ng tiisa sa amin sa pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Naway pagpatuloy po ninyo ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. At makakaasa kayo, pagdarasal din namin kayo at ang inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Lord is in go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now please join us as we pray together for the blessing of the sick, then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty, Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, a lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.